I'm really just looking for a simple way to get in and get out of a trade. How do I do that on this chart? Well, let me show you. On your trading platform, here's NinjaTrader 8. I will load up a chart of my choosing, and this here is an example. It's the NASDAQ on the March 2024 contract, 60 minute time frame. Well, you'll notice I don't have any buy or sell buttons. So one of the things that I like to do to keep things nice and simple is go up to the top toolbar and look for an icon that says chart trader. I will click this once and then select the chart trader option, which is right in the middle. Once I do that, I will see a bunch of options load to the right hand side of this chart. This is where we see our buy market. And if we press this, we'll be entered into the market price with a buy at the market price. So it'll automatically execute. Now you may have some slippage with it, but it will enter you into the trade. Here's your sell. This will enter you into a sell position at the market price. We also do have some pending orders. You can buy at the ask price or sell at the ask price. You can buy the bid price or sell the bid price. And then if you're in an active position, let's say you're in a buy trade and you'd like to reverse, you can click the rev button listed here. Or if you want to close a trade completely, just hit close and you'll be exited out of a trade. Below that, you'll see a couple different sections. You have your current position. Right now we're flat, meaning we don't have any open positions. An entry, and it's going to display your average entry price. And then below that will be your open profit and loss. And from here, you can actually click this black box to change from points, ticks, pips, currency, or percentage. All you have to do is just do one left click until you get your desired display for that field. Below this, we have our instrument. Now this will line up with what the chart we have behind us. And for time and force, we can select from the drop down box. We have day, good till cancel, or good till date. We have the account that we would like this to be linked to, the amount of contracts we would like to be entered into, and then if we're going to be using any custom advanced trade management strategies. I like to use this field quite a bit when looking for adding stops and limits to my trade in one motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give you an example of a buy trade. Let's say this meets my criteria to enter into the market. I wanna place a market order to jump into the trade right away. I'm gonna click buy market. Order, order fill. As you see, I'm entered into a trade position. Now, right now it's set into point movements, but let's say I want this to be displayed at ticks. I'm just gonna click it once, and now I see my overall tick movement displayed in that field from my point of entry. We can see that I'm in one contract. This was my entry point, and then here's my profit or loss as the trade is active. Now, let's say I wanna exit out of my position. I hit my target locations where I expected it to go and I want to be out of the trade, all I have to do is hit close, order filled, and now I'm exited out of that trade. 